This is Ryanzi Cemetery. Hi. This is Harper. This is my old playground. <laughs> well, you know, you got like slides and stuff where you have slides and stuff. You had gravestones. I had gravestones. And I used to wander around here with my proton pack on pretending I was a Ghostbuster. And I don't know that everyone appreciated it. But I decided, hey, let's come back 30 years later with my daughter and see if we can find some real ghosts. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. <laughs> I want to show you something that's more common in the South, and um, I've seen it now, and you've probably seen this, but this was really rare up here in the North. Above ground graves. Now this is sad. It looks like either somebody broke this off or it naturally fell off. When I was a kid, the cross was still on there. But that right there, if you don't want the receiving vault, and you're like, just get me in something now, that's where you go. My fear when I be playing in here is that suddenly, at any moment, some fingers would come out from down here and just kind of slide it off. Yeah, that makes sense. You never know when there's something lurking in there. Happy Thanksgiving, dead person. There's a lot of ways to spend Thanksgiving morning, yeah, there's, um, you know, there's the parade. Yes. There's, parade. yeah, and, you know, that that's fun and exciting. There's Snoopy, there's all the floats and, you know, the dancing rockettes. But, you know, there's nothing quite like this. Walking around in a snowy graveyard with your daughter and an EMF radar. <laughs> <laughs> now, let me show you a little part of the cemetery that I always found to be very creepy when I was a kid. We'd wander through here. I would wander through here by myself quite often. And there's a little structure over here that has been here for a long time. Now the reason for this structure is because of everything you see around you and the stuff falling from the sky. Yes. The ground gets very, very hard in winter and frozen. And now you can dig into it. This building is no longer really needed, but it's a relic. But back when you couldn't get into the ground, what do you do with all the people who die in winter? You put them in a casket and then put them in a building. You put them in the receiving vault. Dun, dun, dun. See if you can stick the camera through there. No idea what we're seeing, but... We'll check on it later. Yeah. But yes, the receiving vault. It was always a really creepy building. Now, obviously, no one, like, died in the building. But there'd be bodies in this building for months. You know, from, like, November to... The ground thawed, so that could be April, May. June. Not June, it'd probably be thawed by then, but that'd be when they started to get their stack of bodies out and go, hmm, time to bury Harold over here. That would just be interesting. I wonder how the, uh, what the state of the bodies was when you got them out of the receiving vault. Yeah. Probably a skeleton. I wonder if it was smelly. What do you think of all the snow? I, uh, it's cold. <laughs> you almost said I love it, but... <laughs> uh, that's debatable. <laughs> Let's ask a question here. Is there anyone around here that can tell us okay. anything about yourself or anything about this place or what happened to you? Let us know. Wow. Car crash. Oh, that's that's 
That, that's, that was fast. Can you tell us anything about what your name may be? Maybe we could find you around here if, if you're buried here. It's a beautiful cemetery. Do you like snow? Yeah, do you like snow? <laughs> do you like snow? <laughs> and obviously here we are on Thanksgiving. Uh, it doesn't feel lonely in here. It, it does feel like I'm surrounded by a lot of people. What do you like about this? What do you like about the cemetery? Because it is real pretty. Bunny. There are rabbits that are in here. Okay, so far it's making a lot of sense. Do you like snow? <laughs> do you like snow? Do you like... Do you enjoy the weather in here? I wonder if it's, you can experience the weather in here. Can you tell us anything about... Are, are there a lot of people in here? Can you tell me about the, the people that are in here? What, uh, what do you all do for fun? <laughs> do you have fun in here? Do you hang out? I know I'm asking a lot of questions. But tell me something that pertains maybe to the cemetery itself or what life is like in here on the other side. Bum, bum, bum. Maybe. I'm going to get something. Gabriella. Is your name Gabriella? Gabriella? Okay. Let's do a little looking. Gabriella, are you buried around here? Your body in this general area? Take, look at your EMF meter. Is it on? Yeah. Okay. Walk around. Exercise. You know, my mom comes in here and exercises and walks all the time. So when I asked about, tell me something about the cemetery, you're right. A lot of people, a lot of the living, come in here and exercise. So far, we're really, I feel like we're fairly spot on with some of these uh, responses. Or they're at least relatable to this place. Some of these stones are so worn down, it's hard to read them. Stones, so we know where your stone is, like flowers. If you can light up that thing that's in her hand when we're close, what do you got for us? What can you tell me? Meter. Meter. Okay, look at the meter. Okay, maybe there's something to do with the meter right now. And then Louise. Watch your meter. I'm guessing they were trying to tell you something about your meter. I do have to say, we've been to a lot of places and this thing can be fairly slow. You guys seem to be lighting it up pretty quick today. Is your meter lighting up? No. Yeah. You're feeling it. Yes. What are you feeling? Really? Yes. Is there anybody around here right now that can communicate with us in this area? Listener. We're listening. I'm listening. <laughs> We're both listening.
What can you tell us about yourself? Mary. Marion. What? Marion, right here. Marion. Little Marion. McDonald, four years old. I don't know if that means Mary. Marion's almost more of a boy, but it's pretty close to what we just got here. It says disturb. And you're right, a lot of people have come in here and disturbed these graves. But that's not what we're here to do. I love this place. I come in peace. If I could come in here and volunteer to help restore this place, I would if I was closer. That's you that's going by that REM pod making it make noise. Can you tell us anything? Can you tell us who you are? Can you tell us something about your life or the cemetery? Sacred. I would agree. I think cemeteries are. I just said, tell something about the cemetery, and it said sacred. As in, like, a sacred place. Yeah. Okay. What did it say? Hung. Hung. It said hung over there. I am. Hung? Hung. Hung I am. I am hung. And that's going off over there. So this just said, I am hung, why, low, value, and the REM pod's going off over there at the same time. Big. Did you have a big breakfast? <laughs> I think that'd be a very disappointing part of death. Yeah, just having, just like getting a lot of food. I would miss breakfast food. I would too. Well, they're just saying big breakfast. Although I- Wait I, a minute. I asked it how much it remembered it and it said big. I wonder if it also refers to maybe the big fat stone right there. <laughs> Although it is talking about breakfast and big and fat. Could someone have died after consuming a massive breakfast? I'd be jealous. <laughs> <laughs> or are you talking about the stone over there? Cell. Oh, okay. Tell me your name. Cell. It said cell. Whoa, this thing is going off right here. It is. You're right. McDonald. McDonald. Is your name McDonald? Is your name McDonald? Do you have something to do with a big fat breakfast at McDonald's? <laughs> but you're right. That was going off right when you walked over here. But I wonder if it means big and fat by the... Stone. Yeah. And then it said sell. Is this you? Officer. Are you Officer McDonald? Are you Officer McDonald? Hey. There's Donald McDonald McDonald. I feel bad for Donald McDonald having that name. But he was a veteran. A veteran, and I'm wondering if he was an officer of some sort You're right here. in the military.
We got this response. We got that response earlier. What? We got that exact word. You? Yes. You did? I did. Reddit, remember? Hung. It's Hugh. Hugh. Spelled a lot like. It came through that? It said. It said hung. It said hung, but that's a. That, rem that makes me think if it's like supposed to say Hugh. Happy Thanksgiving. Well, I think that's a good way to end our session. You stay on your side, we stay on ours. And happy Thanksgiving. We'll come visit again sometime. What do you think of my playground? I like it. <laughs> Man, I want McDonald's now. <laughs> can we can we go get McDonald's? It's Thanksgiving. No.